Hi, this is Chris Torrance and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. This is just a quick follow-up from my previous podcast where I took a look at the AP40 gamepad from 8-Bit Doe. And today I'm just going to show some more examples of how it works for some games and not for others. And in particular, I'll show an AppleSoft Basic program that lets us read the pedal values. So let's get started. So let's try first with a real joystick, and this is the one that I put together with the joystick from Adafruit and some buttons a few episodes ago. And so you can see that I've got the thumb stick here, and as I move it, it varies smoothly between 0 and 255 in both the X and the Y. I can press the button, and I can get button reading 0 and 1, and there's also some potentiometers, so I can do some fine adjustments on the X and Y in case they're not quite calibrated properly. All right, so I've got the retro receiver plugged into the back, and the first thing you notice is when I turn it on, it immediately goes into the self-testing mode. And I think what's happening is, for some reason, the retro receiver is acting as if both paddle buttons are pushed down, which puts it into the system test mode. Uh, so this is a little bit weird. And I'm kind of assuming that once I get it synced up, this wouldn't actually happen. So let's go ahead and we'll just hit Control Reset and boot into ProDOS, and then we can run my joystick program and see if that's the case where it's reading both buttons as pressed down. So here's my program, and we'll go ahead and run this. And Okay, so sure enough, it's saying button one is pressed down. It's not saying button zero, which is interesting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and push the button on the back of the retro receiver and see if we can get it to hook up to the gamepad itself. Okay, that took a bit longer than expected, but it looks like it's now paired. So let's see what we got here. So my left thumbstick, I can get it to go down to 11. There's 108, there's 255, and I'm trying to just move it just slightly. All right, let's try the Y. I'm getting 10, 108, and 255. Uh, let's see. Okay, the right thumb stick doesn't do anything. So... The D-pad shows the same behavior. If I hit the left button, I get 11 on X. Right button, I get 255. Up, I get 10. Down, I get 255. So it looks like the analog stick here is not really analog. I can't get any values other than the same ones I get with the digital D-pad. Uh, so let's check out the buttons. So there's button 0, apparently. There's B... Okay, and Y is button one, button zero, button one. I can get them both to press, which is good. Uh, these ones on the top don't have any effect. Okay, the thumb sticks have buttons, but they aren't being read. So it looks like B is button zero, Y is button one, and then I've got the D-pad and the analog stick. So just to take a quick look at my program here, I stole a lot of this code from Quinn Dunkey's blog where she built her own joystick, but we're reading the paddle, uh, we're reading the button values, and then we're just printing out and then looping. So it's a pretty simple program. So yeah, overall, not much um, analog uh, behavior from this gamepad. It's pretty much all or nothing. And let's go ahead and see if we can find a game where actually this would be useful. Alright, so let's see how it does on Conan here. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, can I throw in... Okay, there's Jump. There's the Axe. 
Alright. Alright. That was a lucky hit. Let's try the thumb wheel. So, so far Conan's actually pretty good with the uh, game pad. So that's nice. Ooh. Nice. Alright. Alright, let's try another game. Alright, so here we'll try Dino Eggs and see how that works. So there's Jump. Oops. Okay, got the eggs. So... Here we go. Up. Okay, got some eggs. All right, so Dino Eggs is a success with the gamepad, so that's good. All right, here's Load Runner. Let's we'll see how that does. Okay, good. Let's see. The thumb wheel is definitely the best for load runner and again this is actually pretty good uh, so I feel a little bit better now about the uh, AP 40 now that I have actually found a couple games where it actually works successfully uh, let's see if we can find one more and then we'll um, kind of draw some conclusions all right, how about Firebug by Silas Warner? This is a lesser known game, but um, for some reason I've always loved this game. So let's see, we will try the joystick. Um, sure, I usually use the keys for this, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, okay. Okay, good. So, Firebug seems pretty good. So overall, the controller is really good for games where it's discrete values, essentially. So where all you're doing is just going up, down, left, right, but you don't really care about the analog values. As we saw in my earlier video, for games like Choplifter, Castle Wolfenstein, not so good because you really need all the analog values. I'm not gonna make it out. Uh, it feels nice. It has a you know good form factor, and it's nice and lightweight. It's wireless, which is fantastic. You can just put it down. Uh, it was a little hard to get it to sync. Maybe that's just because I didn't know how the buttons worked. Uh, presumably, once you have it synced, it stays synced, I guess. Any other thoughts that you might have? If anybody's tried it out, please put some um, comments in the comment field down below. And otherwise, thanks for watching.